Actually. What's up, motherfuckers? We up here. Just cut my fucking intro. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking, we out here. We out here doing that, that, that goofy shit. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I gotta be doing both, motherfuckers? Yeah. Oh, hey, motherfucker. Oh, that's how you gotta work. When I was in my prime. Oh, shit. Like, man. Like, fucking shit. I can do this. I ain't no bitch. It's my fault. Tell my mom I said I fucking hate her. <laughs> oh my god. Uh -huh. All right. I'm the king of the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck's your cousin's name that you fucking said to me? He was like Mahakna. Mahakna. That's a cool idea. That's honestly a cool ass name. Oh yeah. He's like the super Jew. <laughs> the king of the Jews. It's <sighs> yeah. enough audio for that. Yeah. What's, nice climb. what's up, bitches? Y'all want my taint? Y'all want my taint? <laughs> Dude, they completely fucking redid the top of this. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Holy fucking shit. We're gonna be looking fucking down here and fucking hell. Motherfuckers. How much would you pay me if I jumped? Oh, God, no. Fucking no. <laughs> I, I'm not risking that. Uh-uh. Fuck, no. I ain't risking that. Fuck, no. Like, like, I can like, literally see the bank of the water. Like, no. Yeah, no. No, if you, could, if you could literally see the fucking bank of the water, you might as well just start fucking walking in it. Right. I mean, how the <laughs> No, because jumping off of this, all right, you got to think. Jumping off this, yeah, you might be able to land, but it's at an arc, right? Mm -hmm. So it, like... Your feet are probably gonna end up giving out when you hit the ground, and you're probably gonna end up fucking smacking your shit. Oh yeah, you definitely probably like. <laughs> this. Probably. Fuck that. Yeah, the bridge behind your house. How fucking high is that shit? Like 40, 40, feet. 40 50 fucking feet. God yeah. damn. Big enough where it's a 10 second drop if I plop a rock down. Oh. So you could. I literally counted. It's like 15 seconds. Jesus. Yeah, you you might legit depending on how deep the water is, you might legit end up fucking like probably killing yourself. Fucking hell, fuck that. Oh, it's deep water. It's like probably fifteen feet. Oof. Oh, you might. I don't know. You might be able to fucking live. I mean, as long as you're not doing like a pencil dive. Right, as long as I'm not like belly flopping. Yeah. Like yeah. Out. If you do like a sideways pencil dive, you should be fine. But I'm not. I'm not taking. I'm not taking that fucking risk. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Dude, so fuck. that 30 minute game we had literally made it so I have like half a gig left. Jesus, <laughs> Wait, how, how, much, how much like recording time is that? Six like, minutes. Six minutes, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, it's not that I don't delete it when I'm done, so once, once I upload it. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah it. same, yep. Yeah, well, once it gets done uploading, I'm just like, ah, fuck it. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> In 30 minutes of monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> I would have never thought. Yeah. You, we were probably we check the great here <laughs> rather this fucker's channel. Yep. Yeah, actually, yeah, I ended up losing two people. Oh. This, I, I lost two people this last month. Damn. Yeah. I don't know who the fuck it was. What the fuck is this? Oh, that is the disc golf thing they're doing now. The what thing? Frisbee golf. Oh. Yeah, because they waste the taxpayers' dollars. <laughs> True shit. It, it costed them about a million dollars to put up all over the park. This fucker costed them a million dollars. Jesus Christ. God damn. Oh yeah, it's absolutely <laughs> fucked. <laughs> that doesn't sound like something like encouraging. Like if, if you fucking spend a million bucks on this shit, dude, look, look, they got one over there. They got 18 of them, apparently. Yeah, these motherfuckers better start, like, giving you food and shit at the bottom. Right. Like, for eight, for one, almost a million dollars, you think they would put, like, a fountain here. Yeah, something, yeah. you think they would fix the fucking bathrooms. <laughs> yeah, fix, like, the ventilation in the bathroom, so, like... But it actually has air coming in. It doesn't it, smell like fucking swamp ass all day. <laughs> yeah, right? Especially, especially around fair time. Right. Oh, it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> that, 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 that motherfucker is clogged. Oh, wait. No, there, there, there's clogged and then there's clogged. I mean, it's so fucking bad that they have literally porta potties there that are better. The porta potties. <laughs> yeah. Out of all play, Dude. 
<laughs> and, I, and I never say that about anywhere I go. Porta potties being better? Fuck no. Yeah. Where do you think I am? Bizarro world? But no, here in Albion. <laughs> yeah. Good old East Side Albion. <laughs> I mean, like, when I first moved here, like, it, it, like I was, like, too young to understand where the fuck I even was or, like, what people were like. But, like, as I got older, I'm like... Figure out real quick. Yeah, I figured out... I'm starting to figure out, like, maybe people around here aren't as nice as I think they are. Right. Like... See, the, the way I see it is, we're, we're in Albion. People either are extremely racist or they pretend to be black. Yeah. That's the literally... Or, or their methods. Yeah, that, yeah. There's three types of people here. I'm from Pittsburgh. Where are you from? Uh, Long Island? Yeah. Long there? Motherfucking... I'm Queens, technically, but... Damn! Yeah. So, like, fucking, um... Damn. So, like, near, like, Brooklyn and shit? Near Manhattan, yep. Ugh, fuck that. At least it's not... No, at least it's not the Bronx, though. Oh, yeah, fuck that. Fuck that! I have have family all over. Family in, like, Pittsburgh, around here. Like, my family first came, like, when they first immigrated to the U.S., they moved into Pittsburgh. Damn. As most families do because it's a, a port city. Yeah. So they, they lived in Pittsburgh, and then they diverted out all over Pennsylvania. And it just so happened that my father from PA, from, like, Meadville, Crawford County, moved up to New York and then moved back and then moved up again. Jesus. So he's, he's from Pennsylvania, but I just happened to be born there. Damn. Perfect time. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> right after 9-11. Wow. <laughs> New York was... I don't remember much of it. it, was, it was dude, crazy. that that was fucked, dude. I don't remember much of it because I was like a baby. Yeah, Sam, I wasn't even like a year old when that shit happened. Right. I, I, I moved back to PA when I was like three. And like, I remember... I remember like talking about like... I remember when I was, I was like nine or ten years old and my parents were just like... Like, you know... You know, are you like, you know, really liking... You know what we gave you because I think it was like near my birthday or some mm-hmm. shit, and I was like, or no, actually no, it wasn't even when I was like ten. I was like fifteen, and, it, and like my mom was just like, um, like you know, did you like your childhood at all? Do you think that we did a good job? That's I a fucking, weird fucking question. Well, I mean, I mean, because it's like parents like naturally are just like I wanted to do the best for my kids. You right. know what I'm saying? So I'm like. Yeah, I think you guys did a pretty good fucking job. I mean, you fucking... But that's like your lawyer coming up to you mid-trial be like, do you like the services I'm providing you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I sure fucking hope so. Yeah. Like, and then, like, fucking, um... And then, like, I mentioned, like, you know, yeah, what was it, like, like when I f- was first born? And then they... And then, like, this was the mo- when, like, I first started getting into, like, grim detail. Like, I knew about that, like, years before, but yeah. I started getting into grim detail... Like the jumpers from the first building. Oh yeah, people were just jump. They had well because they were at the point where the plane hit and they were above the floor, so they were gonna die either way. Yeah, yeah, because it would, it would end up fucking collapsing and shit. Right, the people below they had a better chance of getting out, and they majority of them did get out. Like who were who got saved? They got out, but still, yeah. a fuck ton of people died. Yeah. Fucking... It, my, my 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 dad talked about it very briefly when I was a kid. He he was pretty fucked up by it <laughs> yeah dude seriously after that like people like there was a third building that ended up collapsing like across the street from that mm-hmm. and like people were like so like my, my mom and dad like i remember them talking about it with me for the first time like we were afraid to go to work like we thought we legit were gonna end up getting attacked next oh my dad worked at a pizza place in new york as cliche as that fucking sounds you know he he, he was a broke man mm-hmm. he, he was fucking terrified yeah like he was I mean, he, he, he was going to school. He was in his 30s. He was still in school for, like, being a nurse. Yeah. So, oh, he, he, he was fucking terrified. Yeah, but that was absolutely fucked up. Man. Oh, yeah. Every, it, every year we got to relive that bullshit. Right, like, the whole world changed because of it, and things have literally not been good since that. Yeah, no. Fucking Al-Qaeda, and then we fucking... Pretty much eradicated them, but then ISIS fucking turned up. Like, p- people want to talk about the downhill of America. That's kind of a good start. Yeah. Then, you know, fucking 20 years down the line. I, I mean, got... have you heard the president is... I mean, people joke about the president telling people to drink, drink bleach. But still, the fact that he, he even talked about that. 
Yeah, that's it's like, like what the fuck. <laughs> it's like out of all the like, like I don't even know if he like knows half the shit that he's fucking. Especially like, recently, like, have you heard about the old man who got pushed in Buffalo? Yeah, dude, yeah, that, and, that's and, horrible. And then the president says that he's a member of Antifa. Like, what the fuck? Are you fucking kidding? Yeah, no, kidding? The, the, the president tweeted that he could possibly be a member of Antifa. The 75-year-old man. <laughs> An activist. An activist. We're, nonetheless. Nonetheless, a 75-year-old yeah. activist who has been an activist for 60 years of his life. Like, what the fuck? And, like, nobody, like, there was one cop that came up to try to help him, and then a cop, like, pushed him off. Right. And it's people like, were, and like, people jumped the gun when that Rayshad Brooks... The, the guy in Atlanta got killed. The, the, yeah. People jumped the gun like, oh, it, another, and then the and then the police body cam came out and showed what actually fucking happened, and it's like, he kind of had it coming. Yeah. For one, he 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 was doing fine until they told him to breathe, to do the breathalyzer test. That's when it started getting fucky. Yeah. He started refusing. He. He then and then he fucking tried booking it. They they put his hands behind his back, saying, "We think you've had enough. Let us take you in." Right. And the cop was being extremely kind. Yeah, like you, you like you didn't even the hear him. Like the cop was being very kind. Yeah. And he he started fucking resisting, and they put him down, and he got up and grabbed the taser. Yeah, out and of the you know, fucking. I, I I don't think they sh- they should have killed him, but you know. You had it coming. Yeah. And I, I hate saying that. I abs- because it's sad that a innocent, that a, I can't say innocent, that that a man died in such a way like that. However, there's one thing that black activists will tell you: don't resist. Yeah. Don't resist. Exactly. It, don't resist. Don't antagonize. Don't instigate anything. Any, and this sounds bad for a white man. However, I'm a Jew. I go through this shit all the time with anti-Semitism. Right. Go, you go through discrimination. I go through discrimination. All I'm the not fucking just, time. I'm not just some Christian white male. Like, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, because he, he was getting fucking... Trying to... Like, you know, some, like, cucks were, like, fucking... Just trying to school him about his white privilege. And it's like... You realize that I'm Jewish, right? <laughs> right. Like my, my family is literally from the middle. My ancestors, which I can trace them back to the middle fucking east. Right. But that's that's the one advice that almost everybody, including police officers, will give. Don't resist. Yeah. It makes your life a hell of a lot easier. Exactly. And like I watch episode of like Live PD cops. And like I'm watching like all these episodes of like all these different shows and shit. Mm-hmm. And it's like, what happens most of the time when these motherfuckers, like, get detained? It's like, oh, you know, here's a good idea. Let me just fucking book it. It's like, right. No. No. It's the worst idea you could ever come across. <laughs> no. Like, that's almost as bad as trying to spit on a cop. Right. As yeah. he's arresting you. Yeah. That's on par with grabbing a taser. Yeah. That, that's the first mistake. He ran. That enough nowadays with a minority. That's bad enough as it is. Yeah. But then he grabbed the taser. And tried firing it. Yeah, he literally... He, he f- fired it. He fired it, but he it missed. He shot the cop, but it missed him. It fucking grazed him. Yeah. Like, I and, don't fucking... Like, ugh. Like, I don't like defending cops. I have issues with police. I really do. But I gotta defend the guy. He was being fucking nice. Right. Like, he was He was even, like, just pull in, sleep. He was being as kind as he can. He knocked on the door three times. He's like, hey, are you okay? Right. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> like, and, his, did, and his excuse did, was, I had one drink. I had one drink. Well, what kind of drink was it, sir? Top shelf. Top shelf what? Right. <laughs> uh, top <laughs> there, there's shelf. top shelf beer. Top shelf. There, there's top shelf beer, which yeah, wh- is like 50%. Dude. If you want to get that, if you seriously are going to be that drunk off of fucking, are you going to be that shit face off of one can of beer? It isn't, it's not going to be beer. It's more than likely going to be fucking absinthe or some shit. Right. Like, like he, taking shots he, he, from it. He, he was unconscious in his car. And I, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say that he didn't have a few drinks. I'm not going to condemn him for that because everyone has a few drinks. That's life. Right. He's an adult. He, he can do what he wants. Right. However,. Don't lie about it. Well, one drink. Right. What, would you have a fucking cup of Jack Daniels? Yeah, like... So like, in a fucking coffee mug full of Jack? Yeah, the, the, the dude... Like, <laughs> I bet the cops have, like, heard this shit so much. Right. 
It, it's like, dude, don't fucking bullshit me. Like, <laughs> don't, don't bullshit a bullshitter. Right. Like, it's fucking, dude, I'm Eric, dude, dude we've been going through some shit. We, we've seriously been going through some shit. Because what, what one person, I think it was a senator, tweeted about how an innocent man was di- was dying. And it's pretty bad when CNN has to say, look at the video. Yeah. Because the p- body cam came out, and one of their, the, the legal an- analysis for CNN was like, no. Before we start judging, look at the video. Yeah, we, we got to... You know, there is at, context to this, and the context isn't just like it's not like the, this is nothing like the George Floyd killing no, where the uh-uh. man was innocent. This is nothing like that. Yeah, it, like this is a completely different scenario where like, a man did resist. Yeah, he did resist. He tried to attack the cop, even if it was with less lethal force. And again, this sounds terrible coming from a white male. However, it's facts. Right. Exactly. Like I, I hate I hate defending cops. I really do. Like. In, <laughs> because and, cops are dicks. Co- cops are yeah. Bad. Cops can be yeah because they, they, they like abuse their they abuse their power. They abuse their power whenever they do end up doing something and it gets on video. Nobody holds them accountable for it, so they don't get in trouble. So like that's why they do the shit that they do because they know that they won't be get held accountable for it. And then you know shit like this happens. It would be one thing if the dude in Atlanta was like down getting arrested and the cop like had his fucking had knee his knee on his neck on his gun neck. in his head yeah that'd be different no this cop was being kind he was letting him sit in his car for majority of the interview right he was it was only until they were doing the sobriety field test like the walk and yep. stuff like they were letting him sit in his car <sighs> God. this wasn't no i'm a drag a man out or some shit like that no no this wasn't Man. And I and I don't care if people on this video say, man, these are a lot of hot takes. No, I I, I stand by whatever I say. I, I am standing by this because it took me a few days to come to the conclusion after looking at once after looking once all the evidence was figured out. Right, yeah. Yeah. It's a shitty situation and it's very unfortunate that this man died. Yeah, but you know, maybe you shouldn't be, you know, being like, you know, oh, hey, you know. Right. Like. <laughs> and the cops told him multiple times, stop resisting. Right. Stop resisting. Right. And like. And I get it. He's having an adrenaline rush and he doesn't want to stop. But come on, man. Just a week before another man was killed. Yeah. Like, come on. Like, and, like, and <laughs> that like sparked nationwide riots. Like. <laughs> like, come on, man. And like, I, I, I guarantee this will have some protests. I, I don't think there's going to be as big as George Floyd. No. Because... I think the protests are so, starting to, like, die down a little I, bit. I, I haven't really checked on them. It's... I, I, haven't. I haven't heard about them in the news at all. I've only heard well, about the media the that... stopped reporting about them yeah. completely. I mean, I, I guarantee you they're still, they're still going on, but, like... Well, Seattle has that whole autonomous zone. Yeah. So they're definitely going on still. Yeah. However... I, I, I don't think the protests will be as big for this man as they were for Floyd. Yeah, because... Cause because unlike Floyd... This guy could actually, like, get away, and he wasn't, like, on the ground, and he wasn't, like, being fucking... Right. Being, like, having someone's Unlike knee. Floyd, the cops were being kind to him, and they weren't doing anything with brute force until brute force was required. Yeah. You know what I'm and saying? It, it, it's like, it, it's the same fucking, like, idea that I use. How much time have we got? Holy shit, 18 fucking minutes. So, Big video. It, it's, it's the same, it's the same, like, concept. It's like, if you're seriously going to go out of your way to do something fucking retarded like this, like, mm-hmm. yeah, I think, you know, it's a good idea, you know, hey, fuck you guys, let me grab your taser and run and try to shoot you with it. If you try to do some shit like that, don't be fucking surprised when something bad happens to you. Right, because the cop grabbed his taser. I don't think the man realized the cop has a Glock on his side. Yeah, that's not the only fucking... He's going to turn into the fucking ranger with the iron on his hip and just be like... <laughs> that's so bad. With the big iron on it. Oh, that's fucked. It's it's true, though. Right, it's like... This, the, 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 these cops go through firearms training. They, they go through training how to deal with scenarios like that. Right. And quite frankly, I, I feel the cop handled it to the best of his ability. Right. 
I, I think it's just because people, as usual with these kind of situations, it's like they tend to over exaggerate things and say, no, it was like this. It's like not only was there a body cam, but there was also like four other like people there. Yeah, there was also people there. There was the Wendy's and then, cam. And like... then there was like four cameras that were like pointing at it. Right. And it, and it, sh it clearly shows him turning around, pulling the trigger. And then on, on the taser and him missing. Right, like our, our society as a whole has kind of just come to the conclusion that all authority is bad. Which, to an extent, yeah, they're right. An ex yeah, to an extent. But to an extent, I'll give you that. But there are certain situations, and this is one of those situations where not only was the authority not bad, but because it was authority, people are going to jump the bandwagon without looking at the cold right. case closed facts mm -hmm. the cold cut facts like a cold cut combo sandwich at subway <laughs> and the facts are hard to swallow like a cold cut combo at subway <laughs> but they're facts nonetheless right yeah and the if you're going to eat a cold cut combo you got to wash it down with a little bit of truth and the truth mm -hmm. is that cop should not be fired that cop should not have to be forced to resign and that cop should not get an accommodation for what he did no i'm not saying the cop should be awarded However, no, the cop no. should not have to quit his job. No. It's it's literally fucking like the it, it was it was going great. It was just it was like a normal fucking stop and it was like, "Hey, we're we're going to like fucking detain you or we're going to take you in, you know. We need to get your side of the story and then you know, we right. find you here." Mm -hmm. Like And we'll they they were even talking about like I think they talked about like we'll let you sleep if you just pull in or something. Mm. And he did pull in. And, but they get, of course, cops are going to say that so they can field test them. Right. Obviously, they're not going to let them sleep at a fucking Wendy's. No, right, no. No. <laughs> Fuck that. And then, and then, like, fucking after that, they were just, like, fucking... They were as kind as, like, a first grade teacher. They, they were having conversation with this man. Right. D like, did... Dude, we, like, everybody that's... Because I have some people from the Philippines that watch my videos. Mm -hmm. Like, there's, like, 7% of my viewers come from the Philippines. We're going through some shit. Well, I, I know that, like, ISIS once, like, tried to take over the Philippines. But I think I think those motherfuckers are pretty much dead by now. Like, we're going through some shit here in the States. Right. I'm, I'm, for all those people outside of the U.S., understand that it may look like America has become the laughing stock. But not all Americans are partaking in that craziness. No. It, it is quite scary. Yeah. It's like... It's a little bit alarming. Yeah. It's, you know, because, like... But, you know, like, we like COVID is certainly not fucking helping with this. Right. COVID is the least of, in my opinion, COVID's the least of my worries right now. Well, we are, in the United States, we are quite literally on the brink of a race war. Yeah. We are there. Yeah, pretty much. We are basically one man getting killed away from full-out war. There are cities in America who are separating from the United States. Yeah. Seattle. Like, a good chunk of Seattle yeah. is just done. Yeah. <laughs> and the president is forcing, our, our president is forcing an executive bill for police action, which means that, quite literally, he is invoking martial law. Yeah, and, you know. And if and, it comes to martial law, that's it. That's the final straw. Yeah. I, I've talked to Eli about how I will defend my right as an American. Yeah. If so, I ever have police coming on my doorstep for no reason, yeah, for, I am either dying or going to jail that day. For weeks. For weeks, we've literally, for like, going back to all the way when quarantine first started, mm -hmm. which was like beginning, of, beginning or middle ago. of March. Yeah. It, it was like March. A couple months ago. Yeah. It, it like, we, like, we have literally been like fucking, <laughs> we've been going through so much shit and it's just kind of like... God damn. Like, this is the first time me and him have hung out in fucking how long? Since Halloween have we seen each other? Yeah. It's been, like, close to, like... I'd say, like, since November, but... Since basically right before COVID. Yeah, basically. Like, we've been, we've been hanging out for, like... Because our whole government is basically... Our whole country has been on a lockdown until, like, now. Yeah. Until, like, the last few weeks. Now, that's why all this crazy shit's been happening. If you see it in the news, like... People are protesting. There's riot. That's because, for one, people are tired of being locked in when there's nothing happening. Yeah. Not many people are dying. In, people are dying in the U.S., but it's not at a super reasonable rate. Mm -mm. It's, it's at a rate you would expect. And if the media has stopped reporting on it, they, they give up. Yeah. They, they give up.
Yeah. Because it's like fucking... It's dude, not worth it. Dude, like, suicide rates when quarantine first started and within, like, the first Spiked. month... Spiked. Suicide rates fucking... Zoom. And I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I made a few edgy Snapchat posts because I was getting a little bit depressed yeah, because, yeah, as you bit. might expect... Being locked in your house 24-7, yeah, it ain't fun. It can, fucks with you. That can do some shit. It, there's a thing called cabin fever. I was I, I, I was experiencing it for a bit and some edgy Snapchat posts. But thankfully, I'm in a better place because I can be outside again. Right, exactly. Hang out with my boys. And, and technically, <laughs> the stay-at-home order... Is over. It, it, the stay-at-home order is over. The state of emergency technically is supposed to be over, but Governor Wolf... Is being a little bitch. See, not only in is the United States going through shit, but our state especially. I don't See, hear. I don't hear about any other states going through no. shit like this. No, and and that could be because all of our news is localized. But however, I look at national news and no, like our 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 state made national news about this shit, yeah. which is fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Wait. It, wait. About- it made CNN. About, um, like, like specifically about Tom Wolf yeah. not following through with this. Tom, Tom remember, remember that news link I showed you? I think, I think I remember. It was, it was basically the prenup to this. They, they're, Pennsylvania's going to court. Yeah. The, the whole state of PA is going, well, the governor's going to court with all the senators. Oh, yeah, I remember the voice to text you sent me about that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's fucked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Since you decide to be a more of a, uh, what's the word, totalitarian... Something like you know, if you decide to be a douchebag and be like, Hi. if you decide to act like a totalitarian dictator, as it turns out, our democracy is heavily against that, and it comes to a point when both sides of our democratic society will realize that this shit is fucked up. Yeah. And when Republicans and Democrats, people who fundamentally hate each other, team up, yeah, when they, there's when, an issue. When they gotta come together to be like, all right, cut it out with this bullshit. Like, there's an issue. Like, end it, please. I don't, I don't want people fucking, like, getting sued. I don't want nobody going through shit like that. Like, it's fucking, man. And our governor says no. Yeah, it, it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, like, I honestly, like, I've said this before. I said this in one of my videos, uh, on one of my vlogs. I think that economic growth and public health are equally as important. If it wasn't for a pandemic going on. See, I, I like, feel that public health is not is more important than economic growth i i feel that in essence a free market america a free market's good but we don't have a free market basically every company for instance every food company is owned by six major conglomerates yeah our entertainment is controlled by three companies and need i even mention amazon they have literally destroyed Adam Smith, one of the big daddies of capitalism, big daddy. one of the big daddy boys, mentioned that natural monopolies are a danger to a free market. Yeah. And they should not coincide with a free market. We have natural monopolies. See, we have laws against monopolies. However, we still have monopolies in America. Right. Yeah. And... You Take know, me right back to freshman year. There's again. nothing Goddamn. we can do about it, and so I, I fuck economic growth. I, 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 I honestly could go for another Great Depression. It's a hot. This is my only hot take in the video. I could go for another Great Depression because honestly, the last Great Depression we had, the outcomes were huge. Not yeah. only was there a war, but that, that's a little sidetrack. A little bit of yeah. war. Yeah. Restaurants boomed because of it. Business grew overall. We basically came together as a country and realized, let's get shit done. Right. However, there was a bit of racism, but that was happening before. Yeah, that, that was like fucking decades and generations before that. And... Even if there is going to be something like the Great Depression, I, I like I don't even know if it's going to be nearly as long as... Oh, for as Pennsylvania, the, there is at least going to be. You know how many local... The Sunnyside Diner is shutting down. There's a ton of local businesses business yeah, shutting there's, down. Yeah, there's a ton of... There's, there's going to be a recession for our state, at least. <laughs> yeah, for at least our state. And then everybody's going to be fucking moving out because... Oh, I, I want to move out because, of state. Because... Yeah, to... yeah, same. Because fucking Governor Wolf is being a little cunt. Like, fuck this state. I'd... I, I want to do all my business in Ohio because they opened everything. Yeah, dude. 
Dude, there are no restrictions on No, that. there's none. I don't see one motherfucker out there wearing a mask. There's no restrictions in Crawford County. Yeah, I don't see nobody wearing I went wearing to Crawford shit. County that went to a pizzeria, and holy hell. <laughs> there were people out there basically sucking each other's dicks. There were no masks. There were nothing. <laughs> oh, my God, man. <laughs> God damn. Oh, I, anyway, I hope you guys liked our, you know, our, our, our talk about this. <laughs> this is a little bit over a half hour. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fucking, but people are out there sucking each other's dicks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm not wrong. Like, it, you should have seen, I was with my mom and we're driving in a Fiat and there's people literally like getting coffee cups, giving it to each other. Yeah. What the it's fuck? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like and, and I have a feeling, like, after, like, this whole pandemic bullshit is over, like, I don't even think it's going to be, like, one huge, like, big relief. I think it's going to be something along the lines of, like, by, by country by country, or no, not country by country, people are going to start seeing improvements and people are going to start being like, okay, you know, it's safe enough, let's open up again. Like, I, I feel... <laughs> Like, and I, I feel like by this time next year, I think this is going to be a lot less of an issue. But at the same you time... You never know. Who, who the fuck knows? At this rate, by next year, we could be dead yeah, with prob war. Probably. <laughs> I'll be drafted in the military, for God's sakes. Yeah, and the draft could end up fucking coming back. Oh, you all good? Oh, yeah, I'm good. Oh, good. a little bit of a drop. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to fucking die. <laughs> at this rate, the draft could very well come back. It probably could. And Trump is probably going to end up saying or doing something that's going to end up getting us into war. Because, you know, he, 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 he fucking hates China and shit. Like, that, mother, that, that motherfucker despises everything. Even though majority of his business deals involve China. Yeah. It's, it's like, fucking weird. It's like, what the fuck? And then you go ahead and put tariffs on their products. And then they're just like, okay, fuck you, that's it. And, like, this is something that my grandma was talking about. She was like, I have a feeling that this whole COVID shit is an act of war from China. Because we put tariffs. All right, that, that's a little bit of conspiracy theory. Yeah, that bullshit. might, yeah, that, that's a bit of a conspiracy theory. That's, a, that's a reach. That, that shit, that, that might be a little bit. That's grasping. Might be a little bit out there. You know I what mean, I'm saying? I, I, I talked about how this was North Korea's present, but that's, that's like a conspiracy theory, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fucking. Yeah. That's like saying Elon Musk is a robot. <laughs> I gotta take a piss. All right, yeah, go go ahead. Go right in the fucking head. Get some of that yellow liquid out. He's gonna talk about my piss. <laughs> like that, like a fucking Gogeta. <laughs> <laughs> liquid gold. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, yeah, hope y'all motherfuckers enjoyed um, our first meetup video. Um, yeah. It's fucking awesome. This is the first time we've met up in close to like seven months since this whole fucking outbreak started. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. I think I could probably fucking hear it. You know, like, y'all motherfuckers, y'all motherfuckers want to see me take a piss? Go ahead and smash the like button. Y'all motherfuckers want to see me empty my dick? Want to empty my dick? Only for OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. There's really no nudity in this video. That is only on my OnlyFans account. Link in the description. Where I give the premium news to the premium boys. So, yeah. Peace and love. <laughs>